Hello Sales Scientists. This is David Primer here from Cerebral Selling and what I wanted to do today was give you a quick tip as it relates to solution discovery. Now for most of us, we do solution discovery. We come to the discovery call with the customer with a whole list of questions we want answers to. But oftentimes we don't ask the follow-up question. We don't go the next level deeper. I'll give you an example. In my third startup, what we sold was a social performance management solution. Essentially, it was a solution for people who wanted lots of feedback at work, but hated performance reviews. And we helped managers help their employees get more feedback and more coaching and more recognition at work. And so we would often go into companies and we would say, okay, well, how is this manifesting? How are these challenges of not having this feedback manifesting uh, in your workplace? And they would say things like, oh, our people are getting super frustrated. They hate performance reviews. Uh, you know, we, we, we keep hearing about this, about that. And it would be very easy for us to kind of go back and write that down and say, okay, that, that's great. It sounds like you're a perfect fit for our solution. But a great follow-up question for that situation and others is a very, very simple one. And that question is, how do you know? Now, of course, here, we're not calling the integrity of the customer into question, but the idea is how do we go to that next level? Okay, so you're saying you're having a, a challenge with employing engagement. H how do you know? Did you do a survey? Uh, of your employees? Are you noticing that turnover is exceptionally high uh, nowadays? Are you getting feedback in some other way from your managers? How do you know? And again, not calling the integrity of the customer into question, but it's just that next level deeper. What you're really looking for is you're looking for the evidence, the gold, right? The really keen insights about the customer's business that are ultimately going to allow you to help them better. Oftentimes reps stop after the first question when they hear something and they have that cognitive bias. When they hear something, it sounds like something that their solution could be a good fit for, they stop asking the questions. I don't want you to do that. I want you to ask the second, the third, the fourth question. And a great, easy follow-up question to any kind of discovery is, how do you know? Try that in your next discovery. We'll see you next time.